So what do you guys think of the new hat? It's a new one, although it's one size larger than the other one that looks just like it. Um, the other one just sitting, was really sitting pretty high up on my head, which I like. However, this one's a little bit warmer. That I really like. Hi and welcome to Milk at Farms. It's a beautiful day on Virginia's only USDA certified organic maple syrup farm. I know it doesn't make any sense, but we do make maple syrup here in Virginia and it is delicious. If you ever want to try some, go to milkatfarms.com. So today we're up in the woods looking for leaks. I noticed on our monitoring system that we had a line that was not performing correctly. So I'm up here looking for leaks right now. Let me show you what a line looks like when it's running properly. Okay, let me see. Now you guys can probably see this. See those little bubbles? They're going along nice and smooth. They're getting into this 5 16 line, dumping into our main line. If we had a leak right here, none of the bubbles would be in here. and It'd be shooting through. I've already identified a lateral, which is actually it's way down there. So we're not gonna walk down there and look at it, but we're gonna walk somewhere up this line right here and try to find that leak. I'm relatively close to it. I think I know where it is. As we look at this line right here, you notice there's not any water in it. That water being sap. Okay, I gotta get moving. So we're coming up to it. Wow. Right there, you guys hear that? I'm not sure what's going on. Let's see if we can tap it in and make it stop. Nope. All right, this leak is coming around here. So what we can see right here, is you can see the, the water's moving fairly quickly and there may be another leak above, but for sure, there's a leak right here. Once we pop this out and seed it, all the water is going to start backing up and it's going to go slow again. Oh, I got you guys on a log. I'm going to go ahead and pop this thing out. We'll see what's going on. Now, I marked this because I thought there could be something wrong with it. Turns out there is something wrong with it. Nope, that doesn't want to come out at all. Mm, that's not coming out. Well, okay guys, that's not gonna work. And we've gotta seal this thing off. So let me see what I've got in my little bag of tricks. Ooh, I do have an extra tap. Instead of wasting a tap, I'm gonna use something else. I've got an end piece. You see that right there? That's an end piece that we would put around a tree at the very end. Let's see if I can get this thing in. So we're gonna wiggle it. There we go. Hmm, there we go. That's sealed. Now, we'll look up. Yep, here comes that water. Boogieing on down too. Okay, you guys see the water coming by? Right there. So it's gonna come around the corner. Ooh, it went fast there. Haha. <laughs> There's another leak over there, guys. That's neat. Two leaks in one spot. Not normal, but I'm glad it's close. As I'm walking through the woods, especially this time of the day, uh, we've got the sun, which is over that way. So I wanna put the line between the sun and myself. And what that'll do is let me see that column of water that's coming on down. In this case, what I'm seeing is we've got water that's rolling through here. And somewhere around this tree is a possible leak. As I look up there, I see that water going nice and slow. So that possible leak could be anywhere from right there to where I'm standing here. So let's go over this way and let's see if we can find it. Leak detection on maple lines is a lot easier when the water's moving. Without the water, you don't really know if you got a leak. Well, it's boogieing on down. Yep, that thing's shooting all the way around. So 
So somewhere up there is a possible leak. Okay, that's late. You might be able to hear it, but right there is the leak. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a fitting in here so that we can continue to get the sap out of the tree. There it goes. Did you hear it? We're looking at our bag of tricks for one of these. It's a flat hook connector. All right. Easy peasy. Now you can hear the vacuum going pretty good. Okay, next, I use my arm. I push it right on in there. There we go. Now, that leak is fixed. That doesn't mean we don't have other leaks. The water from here moving up is working fine. From here down, right here is okay. We're gonna walk on back down to where we just were to see if we can find the other leak. If there's a second leak, and I know for sure on the other side of the main line, I've got still another leak. So I'm gonna walk down, see if I can find a leak on this line. If I don't, we're gonna hop across the main line, look for some more leaks. It's quite possible the leak is in this fitting right here. So I'm gonna take the fitting out all together, put a new one in. Since I don't have my single-handed tool, I've got to put this in in stages. The double-handed tool is perfect for installing the fitting, but what's not is getting this little the drop on. Here we go. All I need to do now is wait a couple of minutes for the water to build back up and see if it rushes past here. If it does, we got a different leak. What happens on a lateral when you split it is you've removed all the vacuum from that lateral alone. Now, there's still vacuum on the whole system, which is a good thing, and our vacuum pump will overcome just maybe one lateral being open, but the water that's been coming down has rushed out. So it takes a couple of minutes for it to build back up for that column of water to kind of reestablish itself. Once it does, then we can see if we have a leak or not. You guys see a column of water coming around this side of the tree. We get over here. It's still moving really fast. So I think what we've got is a tap that's not working right. Since air is being introduced, I'm going to go ahead and pull the tap and seat it. That way it doesn't cause any more problems. All right, guys, that didn't work, so we still got a leak. This time I'm using a flat hook. We're just going to eliminate this, this drop altogether. Standing below it like this, we can see the water coming in. At a pretty good clip, there's a big column right there. As it comes around, we should see it on this side of the tree. And we do, that's fixed. Of course, it doesn't mean there's not a leak down below, but from this point up, we're in good shape. All right, when looking for leaks, trees that keep their leaves like this one is hateful because it sounds like this. Which is exactly what a leak sounds like. So trying to find leaks when there's wind out and there's trees like that around can be really, really hard. By standing here, we can sort of gauge what's right in front of us with what's above us. As long as the flows are about equal, we know we don't have any leaks. However, if the line above us is slow and the line in front of us is fast, that would indicate a leak somewhere around this tree, which we don't have a leak, so everything is good. Today on the farm, we had five lambs born. That was amazing. Everybody survived, everybody's in the barn. Mom and babies are doing well. Also had a couple friends come over and help us out with bottling. It went really well. Emily started off helping, and then some friends showed up, which was great. We got the bottling done, Emily made lunch. 
all in all, it's been a great day. As I'm walking up, I'm just looking. We got water in the line, everything is good. I gotta get up the tippy top, about 200 meters up. This time of the year, days are long on the farm. I'll tell you that for sure. Doing lambing, making syrup, looking for leaks, bottling. They are long days, but they are definitely good days too. I'm wearing my old self out. That line's in good shape. Between here and the top, probably got another 15 laterals. So the old saying goes, a bad day in the woods beats any good day in the office. Let me say, that is a fact. I love it out here, I really do. If you ever wanna come out and visit, go to millgatfarms.com. We have a B&B &B here on the farm, we'd love to have you. It is beautiful, we are in the middle of nowhere, convenient to nothing. <laughs> I mean nothing, there's nothing here. And it's really cool. Thanks a lot for watching our video, we really appreciate it. Do consider giving us a thumbs up, it means a lot to us. But you know what really means a lot? is hearing from you. Where are you from? Where do you watch our videos from? Do you watch them on mobile? Do you watch them on a desktop? I watch a lot of videos on my iPad and that really works well for me. That's kind of how I go to bed at night. Click on a video and then just off to la la land I go. It works really well. Oh no, I kind of hope my videos aren't putting you guys to sleep though. That would be terrible. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, God bless you guys.